Right now on CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, a SEPTA subway station turns into a crime scene. We're learning what happened right before a man was fatally stabbed on a platform. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Jan Carabeo. The stabbing happened this morning in Center City less than 24 hours after SEPTA's transit police went on strike. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Center City, Philadelphia for us this noon. So, Matt, the big question is, could this stabbing have been prevented if the transit police were working? Well, from SEPTA, we're hearing that supervisors are filling in the gaps while the police are on strike, and they tell us that supervisors were in the concourse at the time of the stabbing, but a different section of it, they responded as quickly as possible. Chopper 3 was over the Walnut Locust subway station of the Broad Street line just after 6.30 this morning, minutes after police arrived. Officers say a 30-year-old man was stabbed once in the chest inside the concourse after a fight broke out between him and another man he knew. The victim died at a nearby hospital. Our prayers go out to the family, his vic uh, the victim and his family. The SEPTA Transit Police Union vice president says the stabbing is just the latest example why his officers need a bigger staff. We're understaffed. We're undermanned. We can't be everywhere all the time. It's not clear what caused the fight that led up to the stabbing. Philadelphia police tell us they're still investigating. What we do know, according to a SEPTA spokesperson, is the attacker is under arrest. Meantime, SEPTA's Transit Police Union has now entered day two of its strike. We asked if the union is any closer in making a deal with SEPTA management, but at issue is a policy over body cameras. The union says a current policy does not allow officers to review body camera video at the end of their shift. They want to change that. We think it would be more effective if we can review it at the end of our shift, you know, when we're done sitting to write a report or it just helps things be more accurate. Sometimes you need to be reminded of what you did through the day. SEPTA said it couldn't comment specifically on the body cameras, but said it is ready to go back to the negotiation table. The union said the same thing. They are also ready to go back to the table, but so far nothing has been scheduled. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.